The pot-bellied seahorse is one of the largest species of seahorse, reaching up to 14 inches long. They are found in the temperate marine waters around southeastern Australia and around New Zealand, where they inhabit harbors and sheltered coastal bays. They can be found among things like algae, seagrass, and sponges. They are thought to be rare at most locations, but they are easily recognized by their large stomachs. Pot-bellied seahorses come in a wide range of colors, from brown, yellow, gray, white, orange, or mottled with dark spots on the head and trunk. Their coloring allows them to blend into seagrasses and weeds. They have a forward, tilted, long-snouted head, and a tail that can coil around objects. Their eyes can move independently of each other. This makes it easier for them to see food and predators. They are relatively strong swimmers. Swimming is powered by a rapidly oscillating dorsal fin, while steering is controlled by the use of the fins on either side of the body. They are more active at dusk and night than during the day. They use their tube-like snouts to suck in crustaceans, such as shrimp and amphipods, which are ingested whole. Males and females differ in appearance. Females have more of a pointed stomach. Males have a longer tail and a shorter snout. It is the males, not the females, who become pregnant. Mature males develop a pouch on the belly known as the brood pouch. Females insert their eggs into the male's pouch, then the male fertilizes them. After about a month, the male delivers the baby seahorses. The babies look like miniature adults. After birth, the babies are fully independent and must fend for themselves. Pot-bellied seahorses are threatened by habitat loss due to coastal development. They are used as curios for traditional medicines and for the aquarium trade. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.